Jones. Putting a loved one in a nursing home is a decision that's tough enough. It's even harder for many tonight, knowing dozens of seniors are living without hot water. It's happening at the Oakwood Estate Senior Facility just off Maruta and I-70 in North County. Ashley Lincoln is working to get answers on when the hot water will get fixed. Ashley? Well, Courtney, these family members tell me that they were upset because they said they were kept in the dark by management about this. Now, they said they didn't find out that this hot water was turned off until their loved ones called them this weekend complaining about it. Some of them told us that it feels like they're washing with ice. Our temperature gauge reached this ice as 28 degrees. One woman says it's so painful for her to wash her face and brush her teeth with this water. No hot water. Kimberly Cappy says she recorded this cell phone video after learning her 97 year old grandmother has been without hot water for at least four days. It's disgusting and it's just like you said, heartbreaking, you know, just to know that your loved ones is being treated unfairly. She says she and other residents have complained to staff here at the Oakwood State Senior Facility in North County. It's sad that they walk around as if it's not an issue. It's not just one or two family members in there. There are a lot of family members. And you do need water to be sanitized. Yeah, hot water. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Gussie Robinson tells me her daughter is here receiving hospice care and hasn't received a hot bath in nearly a week. Basically all they use are wipes, mm -hmm. which is not that sterile. <laughs> yeah. When I first called to get an explanation, I got this. We received some complaints about the water, the hot water not working at Oakwood Estates. Thank you. When I called back, an employee told me the water had been fixed. We got reports of no hot water at the facility. Well, we have it now. So they are getting the furnace. So I went inside to see for myself. I ran the faucet in Kathy's grandmother's room for nearly five minutes. Then what a cold. Yeah. I'm tired of waking up in cold water. Hi, I'm actually Lincoln with News 4. I spoke with an employee while inside. Well, can you tell us why there's no hot water in the building? They didn't answer any of my questions. How long will these people have to suffer? A few hours later, Oakwood at State sent this statement saying they were notified about the lack of hot water this past Saturday. They say one of the boilers went down and that they thought a maintenance worker fixed the issue, but they later found one boiler needed to be repaired. In the meantime, they say they provided residents with hot water basins to get by, but Kathy and Robinson say their loved ones never received those. If it's not them or their loved ones, they're not quick to take action. Now, the facility says that they are in compliance with both state and federal regulations. Now, they also told us that the entire facility is not without hot water, and they do plan to have a crew out there tomorrow to make repairs. Again, these family members say they wish that they were notified so they could have made different accommodations for their loved ones. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.